This is the NJ2 US Beverage Field. Looking to the northeast, where the two 600 foot BevFlex coaxial RG6 beverage elements intersect. This is the midpoint of the northeast southwest beverage with two feed lines back to the shack. And I'll show you how we string the beverage through the woods, looking for strategic trees to keep the beverage element constructed out of RG6 coax. The Betflex antenna system allows you to feed the beverage at any point along its length. In this particular case, it's fed right in the middle, 300 feet from each end. In places where I don't have a tree, I use standard Dacron polyester cord to keep the coax beverage element elevated about five to seven feet above the ground. It's not that critical. As you can see, if you look closely, the beverage element does droop in places. That's perfectly fine. You will not notice any degradation of received capability. In places where I have a small tree, I use a simple fence insulator to stand the coax beverage element off the tree. Continue walking through the woods. Again, this is the only time of the year I can really get out here. In the summertime, this is pretty dense with foliage, sticker bushes, critters. And as we get to the other end of this 300 foot leg of a 600 foot beverage, we get to the BevFlex terminating unit. Again, it's okay if the coax droops, slopes down here to just a couple feet off the ground where it's tied to a BevFlex terminating unit. To a uh, four foot ground rod in the ground and then the ends are just tied off to another convenient tree. Again, looking back through the beverage. And that's it. This is the Bell Plain State Forest or the lands immediately adjacent to it, adjacent to my property, where the NJ2US dual bed flex, 600 foot reversible traveling wave beverage antennas are installed. Thanks for watching.